we're gonna see if anybody yeah. needs a ride from the Sweet Caroline, Caroline, good times will never seem so good. It easy on her because she loves you. Ah, she loves her lover. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Say it again. Stop hitting me a lot harder than that. Stop hitting me a lot harder than that. Say it again. No rope on fire. Two hundred fucking lights. Everything under goddamn sun. Retire me, motherfucker. Ladies and gentlemen, the next time you will see the bulldozer is at the last. Extravaganza weekend on October 30th when he says goodbye. <laughs> I love you, Parker. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Today is October 25th, a Sunday, 2020. We're here for, it's basically H2O. It is uh, Matt Tremont's retirement party. Uh, I got my man Lil Lou over here. He's gonna go over to Card, and let's turn it over to him. Well, it's no secret where we are. 
Z boat. I think it's brand new. I haven't seen this before. It's, uh, uh, it's October 25th. As TJ said, it's 2020. Year's been shitty. It's almost coming to an end. We got like three months left, two and a half months left. Uh, passings of friends, coronavirus. It's, we worked through it. Uh, tonight, Matt Schumann's retirement party, as we know. Matt Schumann, he is stepping into the ring for the last time on October 30th. Uh, tonight, Blackwater and Stan Styles, the cream versus the crickets. Xavier Cross, the fabulous one versus the spider, the American gangster, Sean Henderson. Uh, Bunkhouse Brawl, 12 of the best H. Joe has to offer. And uh, Matt Tremont, uh, as we know, Matt Tremont, again, is on a separate race tour, and he's been in the ring with everybody that's in this bunkhouse brawl tonight. He wants to do it one more time. I think that match is going to fucking exceed expectations. 12 of the best, like I said, in H2O, and uh, going to get violent, very violent, very quick. Uh, Team Tremendous, Bill Carr, Dan Barry, I believe, make their H2O debut. I think this is under the H2O banner uh, against Effie, who makes his H2O debut. Effie, I love you. And the Bulldozer, Matt Tremont. That should get crazy. Uh, strange. I would say so, and a little, you know, kooky, but whatever, that's what we're here for. Uh, I think that's it. Oh, no, Dylan McKay, Austin Luke, Marcus Mathers, three of my best friends in this business, uh, tear each other up for, I believe, the third time now. Each time it gets better and better. I love those guys with all my heart. Fucking, I would do anything for those guys. Um, H2O is always uh, catch us back here in five days as we celebrate the life and the memory of Danny Havoc around Brooklyn. Uh, you know, fucking, I hope TJ, you know, gives me the platform uh, when we get to that point to speak about Grant. Um, uh, Grant, I miss you. I love you with all my heart. I wish you were here, but, you know, the last show again is for you. We're going to get violent. We're going to get crazy. We're going to crown the first ever Danny Havoc Hardcore Champion. This is H2O. This is my fucking family. Thanks, guys. All right, the doors are opening up, so let's get in there. Look at you double fisted hot dogs over here, girl. Oh, yeah. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> she has a what, two month old? Let her oh, yeah, live. She's, she's eating for two, so she's good. She's good. She's not going to be eating two for a very long time. Right, Jess? <laughs> <laughs> then we got the other baby over here. She's sleep. Oh. Well, this is the baby section. Yes, I will. I play. I already did last night. Uh, no, I told her I was like, Jess ain't gonna be in for two very for a very long time. We're <laughs> gonna come back to wrestling. Listen, not me. <laughs> oh no! As soon as she popped out, Joey said she'll be here in a half. I'm like it.
Billy Avery. Trainer won't let him have a theme song yet, so you gotta deal with this as entrance music. Billy Avery. He's a super brave wrestler that does cool moves, and that almost makes up for the fact that he was tighty whities Billy Avery. Hi, Billy. Hey, what's hey, up, what's girl? Up? How you doing? Cheers. Cheers, man. Cheers. Yeah, you made it. Thank you. Uh, keep me from biting. Is that white out?
wishes that his nipples were twisted now after that one.
Really? You're gonna film me fucking tying my shorts? <laughs> God damn. So unprofessional. Sorry about that. Jesus Christ. Beard. Nope. Uh, it's growing forever. Time I told him. <laughs> we, uh, yeah, we thought we could over have here. Effie! Effie! Everybody else. Everybody. Oh, should I even have this on right now? Did yeah, I go over the top? I thought I was going to put on the You guys are taking one of your hands All right, everybody look right here. The gang's back together. <laughs> Awesome. Pardon me. You got to get in, please. It's so going to look like you're going to have to All right. Awesome. Yo, thank you guys again. What a It's so nice when everyone can speak to each other in the ring. You know? Like, oh, yeah. We have some of those weird grunt matches where no one will speak. <laughs> My favorite thing about that was just like, I guess we're gonna hit each other with chairs now. <laughs> like, I don't want to do this. He falls over the chair, I'm like, no, 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 put it down. Give me. He took a good chair. He I looked at all the kids and I'm like, <laughs> it still had a price it tag on it. Way, yeah, it, still it still had a price tag, tag on it. <laughs> <laughs> really? I, I saw it. I zoomed in. I was, I was like, like, it still has a price tag on it. A good chair. Real high landed. It worked. It worked. It worked. The backup into me, I was just like, no. I think my favorite was, uh, what was it? I put, I put you in the thing and I'm like, Lee, you're gonna jump on you. I was like, what am I doing? I don't even know. I don't have a move I do here. So I did a shitty seven leg drop. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, this shirt looks so Thank you for giving it. I love you. I'm glad you got it. I love the fact that you're just letting us do it. Of course. Of course. Thank you for the podcast. Oh my god. Whatever. My color look alright? Yeah, you were dead. You were dead. I'm not trying to object to you. I wish that it's markable itself. I'm not trying to object to you. I'm not trying to object to you. I'm not trying to object to you. Hey, Austin! What's up, buddy? Yeah, get it in. for the camera. That's awesome. We got the H2O kids here. They're partying harder than people in there. I don't know about that. Louie's pretty shy. I'm in. Say hi, DJ. It's okay. You be shy. I'll get you later. Yay! Declan, Frank, and Picard. Again, watch it on IWTV, guys. It's backstage shit. And you still got that damn cigarette as well. With Jimmy Boy, he's been in the ring with a long life. Really, really those occasions. He's uh, given all of those combats a run for him money. Picard ever so slowly. Oh! Frankie, you made me want a cigarette. I can't smoke inside. Never really could, so thank you for that. But yeah. <laughs> Frankie and uh, Declan in there, both are uh, new fathers. And what are they doing? Having a little bit of a... They're having sympathy pregnancies, which means that they're both blowing up a little bit. <laughs> Sym sympathy pregnancy weight. <laughs> I've gotten that, baby. I'm still gaining it, man. It's been five, four years now. <laughs> Thank you.
It's okay. It's okay, Dad. I fix. I fix. I fix it for you, Dad. It's okay. I work. I fix. <laughs> Who's that, guys? What's up? <laughs> you know what? I, I know you as Riley, but I know you as the girl that feeds me honey whiskey. <laughs> She is. She's a fucking enabler. Oh my god. She can enable me all day. That's fine. That's good. She wants a chair. Trying to put the part away with everything but the kitchen sink, and now, now he's got a weapon. Yeah, all referees get involved. What the fuck's the matter with you? Can't use that chair though, Grant. You don't fuck want to get the ref up. miss out on your opportunity for the hybrid championship. I understand the way he's got Billy Batch. Baseball bat. Referee and see any of it. As the baseball bat off the ribs of Picard. You're fucked. Oh, in the hard right hand. Nice. Knee right to the side of the head. Oh, Billy Batch is fucked. Oh, Picard now might be out. <laughs> now Grant. He's spiking for part on his head. Float to the cover. Oh, Picard able to take it out. Everything is what I love for you. My door is right there too. My door and me is what I love. Oh my god, hard right hand from the car. Both these men refuse to stay down. Newbound father. I just heard of both these dads chant. That was great. Both these dads. Never heard that one before. Oh, big boot in the face. Arm range and now has him up. He tried it before, it didn't work. Can't get it this time. He ain't smoking now, huh? Gray has a TKO now. Off the other side. Pop up. Oh! The pop up knee. One, two, that's it. Three to the What, I can't get a shot of you? Dr now! You drunk, you drunk bitches? Hey. I mean, you drunk lovely young ladies. You bitches! <laughs> okay, cut. Your dick's little. I can't. What? <laughs> Whose dick's little? No one. <laughs> it's an inside joke. Oh, okay, cut. <laughs> Both these dads. Both these dads. I can't believe that actually came a chin. I know. I was dying. Yes. You were fucking. It was good. It was good. I was like, oh, look at him playing a man. This man needs some. Uh, this man needs some uh, nourishment. <laughs> He's like a baby. <laughs> Don't you understand that this, this, is, the, short. this is the last man from my learning tree. You leave him the fuck alone. This man is this man is gold in my book. Always will be. Even if he wants to fucking break my neck with a fucking drug, it's all good. I love this man. You need to hydrate for that. That's what I want. Right. Right. That's, that's, that's what I want. Love. That's what I want. Before I done, I think that's the only one, only match lucky that I want to do that I haven't done yet. Oh yeah. Do it. TJ. I gotta thank you personally. I don't know if you want to film this or not. But I gotta thank you for it. For what? Because literally from the very, very beginning of me even hopping in the ring and doing shit. You filmed it. Oh yeah, I'm getting it all, brother. You're my friend. Of course I'm going to, dude. Joe, you want me to cut that for you? Uh, Good? Yeah. Oh, I didn't get a lot of your match, but that's what IWTV's here for. They got, cool. they got three cameras. Up. Go I subscribe to the shit. I better be able to watch it. <laughs> got this is the more important shit back here. Getting I get to watch myself be drunk afterwards. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm sorry, I fucked up. No, 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 you was fine. Dude, for real, you was fine. The crowd ate, the crowd ate it up. Yeah. Both these dads. Yeah. Both these dads. That fucking melee you gave me, I think I might have concussion. Oh my god. You pulled me so hard, I seen stars. By the time I noticed it, I was sitting like that. That's it, that's it, you got them. We gave him the motions and stuff. I even called. Huh? I don't have any. Yo, his fire was up. His fire was up there. When I called his daughter out. Oh. I saw your face and I saw your face. That's what you gotta do, brother. Oh, we got hurt. We told the full on dad story. Our kids are sitting next to each other. Not knowing anything. You guys are from Philly. Rocky 2 was all about Apollo calling out the fucking guy. Chasing him. Calling him out. Dogging him. Making himself the bad guy. Fuck that shit. Don't matter. Oh, fuck, man. Everything to get that shit out there, bro. Everything. See if I can't. Did it tell him like a sympathy story too? Yeah, it was a quick story. Daddy just went in there and kicked some butt. Yeah, yeah he did. She's staring at the camera. No, she's staring at you, Luke. Oh, you're staring at me? Mm -hmm. Her eyes it was the battle of the dads in there. Yeah. Say hi, hi TJ. Say hi, TJ. <laughs> <laughs> One day. <laughs> oh, there's a little smile. There it is. It's all yeah. a little smile. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's so cute. You want to send a picture to mom? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get it. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> Tired? <laughs> I didn't zoom on your dick there, Sid. She told me to do it. So it wasn't me. It was perfect timing. Pervert. <laughs> Here. You're so cute. Look at that little smile. Yeah, here it is. Hi. You got such a cute smile. <laughs> Is good. May I have a shot, please? Yes. You offered. Thank you. We're deciding if I'm calling out of work tomorrow or driving home at 5 30 in the morning. You're calling out of work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Tito's. Oh. I need the majority vote. So far, we have two for calling out, zero for going to work. Yeah, I would say call out. Screw it. It's a Monday. What do they need you for? Right. I was out Mondays last aren't that important. I was out last Monday. So oh, okay. So they're going to be like, again, yeah, Maria? Are they gonna do fire again? Are you guys doing shots all together? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'll take yes. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to work. To semen. <laughs> it's lots of it. You taking it in, me me pouring it out. <laughs> I did say I might have made up. a baby on Tuesday, so he pooped, killing it tonight.
What happened in it's there? It's the cat dads. Mm-hmm. What's up? He's the hairless one. So, so your skin tone matches happy. the hairless cat dad. Mine yeah. doesn't though. Oh my god, yeah. TJ, look how cute. Well, it's funny because I'm hairless cat dad, but I don't have the hairless cat. <laughs> Wait, look Ooh. at him. Look at him. Okay. Oh, he's such a nice little <laughs> gray furry pussy. Yeah, that's that's Gus. Guy. That's my guy. He's cute. He's so cute. I know. I, I see your stories. They're I cute. I just love him. <laughs> I see him playing with him all the time. He but, loves uh, it. Wait, this is no, also so, a solid one. I have the slack filter with the hearts. Because that's my so baby. So that should be permanent. <laughs> from Snapchat. So no, so this is a spot, right, where <laughs> what did I, I can't miss? even explain it. So really? I was doing poopy so in the woods. The Blackwater up. took a can of whipped cream he's, he and pressed it against the ref's crotch area, and then had the. I, I'm. I. I really apologize. I don't know who the guy was. The shake weight dude. Shit, another one. Stand, stand. Out of yeah. Work. Did he give him a like? What is it? An enema with it? <laughs> no, he he put his mouth on the on the whipped cream, and then basically it looked like the ref was coming into his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I thought this was a family show. Yo, IWTV but, definitely caught all that. That's good yeah, stuff right yeah, there, yeah, man. Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, they're streaming. It, so I was man, like, oh. I was thinking an enema, but man, that's even worse right there, yeah, man. Yeah, dude, it was, uh, like the first it was sick. Stop. I want to see a whipped cream enema. One time, I was <laughs> one time you did a whipped cream <laughs> no, enema. One time, one time I was in the hospital. They were like, we need to do an enema. I'm like, I'm out. We're not doing that. Goes down out of the shoulder tackle. Try again. Try again. The journey. The voice. The voice to kick. Roll the ball. Roll up. Roll up. Roll up. And we got a stalemate. All right, so it is now intermission, and Jimmy Chondo live. Thought he was only playing one song, but apparently it's 20 minutes intermission here. And Trumai told him, "Good luck, go play." So let's go check this out. We should staple gun him and shit while he's playing. Got some dollars, got some dollars. <laughs> It's from one of my very favorite television shows. Y'all might know it. Touching hand, reaching out, touching. 
touching me. We're stopping this right now. That was atrocious. It's bad. 
It's electric. Concert, shall we say. I'm being very generous by calling this a concert. Chanda, you're more than that. Who's in her voice? Chanda. Chanda, do you know who you are voting for this election season? Not Hawkins. I'm voting for Mad Dog. Doesn't know who I am. I can 
Might ask if he knew the truth. He lives on my block. He drives an iron rock. But he doesn't know who I am. Oh, he's really lucky there. And he doesn't give a damn about me. Cause I'm just a When me, Brophy, and Terrence, and, and we all danced in the ring in Chicago to this song. Oh, kill me! We went, dude, we went fucking, it was so Remember New York? Dude, dude huh? kill me! New York when we used to play live. Oh, yeah, but we weren't allowed to get in the yeah. ring there. No. But when they did it in Chicago, oh, yeah, we were all allowed to get in the ring. She's walking over to me, this must be fake, my lips start to shake, how does she know who I am, why does she give a damn, she said, I've got two tickets to one. Them too. She's like, I'm not going there to listen to Chondo play. No. <laughs> oh, really? How long ago? Oh, I didn't know. It was time to go. You went over 15 minutes. Oh man, I had flashbacks. That's what we do. So, Saki, did you still want to be involved in that? Nope. Did it go back? Yeah. Day's about to plan out their violent match. We gotta get out of here, Sweeney. Wait, wait. Let's go, let's get out of here. We gotta go. You seen that? You see that? We gotta go, yeah. <laughs> Declan Grant. I love it.
guys gotta share the tablet. You gotta share it. I go through this with my kids, and they're four and five, and they still don't share the thing. So that's great. What's up? What happened, bud? <laughs> He's like, no, I'm not sharing it with them. Share it. My kids are four and five, and they still yeah. don't share together. So oh, I saw uh, all, all the videos of your kids. He <laughs> been pooping on the ground stuff. Oh yeah. But you see that he'd rather you have that than yeah. to share that. Hold it, yeah. He's like, you hold it, Dad, instead of sharing yeah. it. The kids are so funny. What are you guys doing? Being all peaceful? Yeah. Are you guys being boyfriend and girlfriend and sharing? Hi. Are you being boyfriend and girlfriend and sharing? No. Isn't that your girlfriend? Oh, you're looking at bunnies and stuff and little pigs? Oh, that's cute. Oh, good stuff. Yeah, we don't need to watch wrestling. Let's just watch little bunnies. <laughs> oh, Are you hiding? Go hide, go hide. We gotta hide from all the boys. Look, they're all over there, all the boys. They're all right there. Hide from the boys. Look, go, I, I, I can't see you now. Where'd you, where'd Daddy go? There you are. Hi. Oh, oh you're gone again. Where are you? I don't see you. Where'd you go? Nadine. Where are you? Oh my god, she disappeared. Where's Nadine at? Oh, I see you. I see you. I see you. Can you say hi to everybody? Hi. Say hi to your future version of yourself someday. You'll see this someday. You'll be all grown. You're like, look at me, all cool with H2O Wrestling Center. I'm cool, and I'm hiding back behind this door. Watch your fingers back there, though. Okay, I'll let you go, sweetie. Alright, so right now we got Austin Luke, Dylan McKay, and Marcus Mathis in there. Three H2O wrestling students. I'm definitely going inside for this one. I'm going to try to shoot the best of this. But again, it's on IWTV. They got three cameras. They don't need me, but I'm going to go in there and capture this shit. <laughs> Lock your motherfucking windows, I'm coming, bitch. Go, my
you throw me that beer? Thank you.
Your students together. That's exactly what we wanted. You're two of the, you, you three are the three best, I think, in my eye in the <laughs> HO Wrestling really Center right now. I watching it while they were doing the podcast in the car. Yeah. Yeah. Sick Every match. Thank you. Watching it. We worked really hard for it. Oh, podcast good. in the car. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay. Cool. Well, yeah, you, you three, you yeah, you guys killed it, man. Thank you for the you good? Thing was the moon. Off the that was so just, that was yeah, such a good was match. Far. I missed the post. You did? Yeah. Oh, so everyone. Yeah, that was, uh, that's good, dude. That, no, that was beautiful. You guys worked great together. 
Yeah. I knew it, as soon as I heard first it was first announced, kick. I was like, this is going to be great. I ran, I ran in and I watched kick, it. Guys. I was like, oh, I'm sorry. I like, to my left. I liked all the kicks together, everything. It just worked so well, man. It was fun. Well, I was just trying dude. to pop each other. I'm not going to <laughs> <laughs> It worked, it worked, it was fucking oh, smooth. Was you know, went on like 15 minutes, it was fucking good, dude. Did it really go that long? Yeah, it was 15 well, minutes, man. Off. It was fucking good. I mean, I there's, some, there's a lot of stuff I like, there's a few things I didn't do. I, 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 I love the kids. Everyone wants to come back and make all you guys individually. Yeah. 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 Yes, yes. yes. You gotta go absolutely great. But I love the kids. The three super kids didn't work, you popped it, popped it up, and popped it again, you know? Yeah. I, like I forgot stuff. letting you guys keep up first. I kept up with you guys. It worked. And you guys kind of went to the side. I'm like, if, oh, fuck. I, I forgot to do the double pump kick. kick. Yeah. That's so, the I went a little weird. But yeah, you did pump kick them. I super kicked them. Yeah, that's all I'm like, oh, I'm not going to lie to you. I was like, oh, yeah. And then it was the Ace Austin spot was a little rough. But I got it. Actually, I thought that was good. We got Because you picked them up. You almost died because you missed the post on your flip. Yeah. I thought that was my fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm literally a freak athlete. I just called that the Ace Austin spot in the vlog. Definitely cut that out because I I sound like a giant. And mark. the AR Fox Moon so don't, <laughs> don't 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 let Ace know I'm a mark for him. <laughs> He'll probably never you see this. that post on your back, but you got over anyway. I thought you were done on that. That was good. Well, I was like, oh, I just killed my. I used the rope for majority. <laughs> okay, yeah, you helped. Okay, I got you. Uh, I thought I just didn't catch you. I was like, what the fuck did I do? A couple things I did wrong. You're the champion. You're finished as the shooting star, and it didn't finish the match twice. Once is okay. Twice your move looks like shit now. That's one thing. I liked your 450 looks sick. Uh, I liked your kip up. Uh, Cutter, that always looks cute. Um, <laughs> try, try and do more stuff, but then big sell. There wasn't a big sell at any point in that match, you know what I mean? You guys got to the next thing a little too quick every time, and there wasn't enough time for the crowd to go, oh, oh my god, all that stuff was great. Okay, let's do it again, you know what I mean? You kind of were like, oh, they were up, and they were up, and then they were up, and then you had those spots where the crowd didn't react to certain things, because they were still trying to react to other things, you know? Yeah. So you got to give a little more time between the big stuff, build it up a little bit, and then um, that's really it. As long as you guys can really like, if you hear that the crowd didn't react to something, take a minute and get them to react to something. Get them clapping to build up to that next spot. You know what I mean? Just be sub be conscientious of the crowd a little bit more. But the actual move, you guys are like freak athletes. So it's all good. Nothing more bad. But just two things. One, obviously, one, you're finished, and two, let that come out. Bring, if they're not reacting, make them react. Yes. You know what I mean? Because there's a couple of times you got to Hey, Louie! Mm. Louie, mm. cheers me before you go in there real quick, you son of a bitch. Yes! I fucking love you, Louie. I love you, brother. You go in there and you kick ass. So Catch me after the minute. Yes, you're damn right I will. When you going out? You go out at the end? All right. Okay, the pressure is off. You had one job. Matt told him. Get the fuck out. Look at him. Matt, you're a nice face.
Fuck Mark Angel. Oh, we want Jimmy. My cousin right there. I love Mark. <laughs> Fuck him as a, as a wrestler, but love him as a human being. <laughs> this is wild. Look at all this shit. That's the second match I have.
fucker we have. Is the epitome of a professional wrestling? I'm gonna give it to you. Shut the fuck up. Every match that he put his, in his, his boots on, and by, this man gave 150% heart, dedication for the past 15 years. He reinvented the deathmatch scene in this business when it was dying. Yes! Yeah. He's a fucking living legend. And he'll never be ever in this movie. The scene is best.
This is his real name. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that was his Christian name. It's not. Hey. I just want to use the great name. Right. Right. Thank you for everything you have done for me. Thank you for everything you're doing now for Little Mom. Hey, I've told you several times. Uh, if it weren't for you, I probably would have stopped wrestling because I got real bored of it. And then you made me feel like I was worth something, even though I'm really not. Guys, I'm just drinking soda like a fucking weirdo. <laughs> 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 well, I'm not scared for you. Stop it. So, man, I appreciate, again, everything you've done for me. And um, one day, I swear to God, you better show me your dick. <laughs> I've this several times, I'm staring at you face to face, Matt Franklin, as a man. We have one day, John, though, he's not gonna say yes. Can I have a rate? You know, um... Is I got your TV still filming this? Yeah. You showed up this time. Oh, oh. oh, yeah, they are. Hi, everybody! Oh, yeah, they are! That's my buddy. He's so tired. I mean, everyone said it already, man. Everyone in this room loves you. Love you, old lady. You know, you created this place. <laughs> Everybody have fun today. Yeah. Not our usual H2O events, I'm a little different, so I'm a little fun. Uh, everybody that came out, y'all know I appreciate it. You literally help us keep the lights on every week, every day, every month. So I can't thank you guys enough. Thank you. 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 Everybody in this ring, I've shared the ring with many of times, uh, and they are. Hey, hospital visit shared. Yes. Very uh, Up and down the road, glad together. We've done it all. Uh, thank you. You guys are the best. And there's a reason why you see these guys here in this building every month. Uh, kind of like what Stock was saying. Uh, there is no H2O without them. <laughs> And we built all this together. We built all this together. This is the last minute thing because I just wanted to have fun and fight my buddies one more time. Uh, thank you guys for taking part in this. Thank the rising star, the students that came out here and did their thing today. Thank Effie. trying to film Devin's and cock, but that's all it is. This, huh? Because in just a few short days, Call we do everything for that man right there that looks over our seats in every show. October 30th, October 31st, it's the biggest weekend in this company's history. Yes! And we pay honor and tribute to him. 17 men are going to step in this ring to fight for the, to become the very first Danny Havoc Hardcore Champion. That's one way we're giving back. And now here's the other. Myself, my wife, Tara Calway, Alex Cologne, we came together and we have put together a non-profit organization, the Danny Havoc Creative Arts.
foundation. In doing that, you can continue to give back. He was a head of creative mind like no other. Drawing and I could do half the things he did. So now with the foundation, we can donate and give to children in schools that need colored pencils and tablets to draw on and stuff like that. And the first thing we're going to do, very similar to a Toys for Tots drive, we're going to do a Hearts for Arts drive and you can donate colored pencils and uh, make it something else. Oh, yeah. It's my, I am publicly to the fans apologizing for my Melvin on Ken Osborne. It was very inappropriate. 
and uh, I don't regret it any second. This was before everything happened it's tonight. It's called trying to, you know, doing business for yourself. No, 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 I got Corona, so you want to use a little bit of this uh, hand sanitizer? Oh, 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 uh, it smells wonderful, black cherry Merlot. I don't know what Merlot is. It's got a, uh, it's a it's wine. It's got a, uh, <laughs> O'Day. Oh, it's yeah. wine? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I tasted the scent and that was enough for me. They'd be like, I'm done with this joke. That's, that's, that's like a bit of beer face. <laughs> oh, Okay, stretch out here, clean it up, and I was just saying, oh my god, I have the same exact cat litter scooper, dude. I literally, it's the same one, my stupid ass cat's pissing shit all over our bathroom every day and I gotta use it. I never thought to scoop up cigarettes, though. Man, some of these people are so full of shit, it comes out their mouths, it winds up in here. <laughs> <laughs> look at this, it's just genius, though. look, it works, look. You know, we should just make litter boxes out of like, we should recycle these and put our cat, let our cats piss and shit on, on cigarette butts. <laughs> the new company, we're we'll, gonna we'll company name be like, right, cat folks. butt litter. <laughs> cat, cat cigarette. Butts. Cat butts. Cat butts. <laughs> Guys, you haven't heard? <laughs> <laughs> Extra absorbent. Extra absorbent. Yeah, you know, these actually, these would absorb really pretty good, man. Right, the filters? Yeah, dude. This could be the next big thing. And then. <laughs> <laughs> Million dollar ideas. That's right, Only baby. Here. Recycle the fucking cigarette butts. Oh, shit. Where's Jeff? He wrestled in the fucking Crocs. I bought him a pair of boots to wrestle in. I, I loaned him one of my extra pairs. He wrestled in the fucking Crocs. He wrestled in the fucking Crocs. That was fun to watch. It reminded me of something like when I was a kid when you would watch like Monday Night Raw and it was just like random 15 men in a match and you just beat the shit out of each other. Yeah, like, just go. yeah dude, it was great though. It worked That's out That's why I said it's a little weird, but it was fun to watch. It was perfectly done. Answer great. me. Who taught you how to do this stuff? I didn't do that. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. I didn't make that. I made it. I didn't make your it. Your son made it, so he's following your footsteps. Get the fuck out of here. He didn't make that. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, sir. What is that? <laughs> oh, it's oh. Fuck you, I'm Dark Death Dark you Mark Angel. Piece of shit. <laughs> so he's got to steal everything from me. I can't have one thing to myself. <laughs> That's John. That's John. <laughs> yeah, that was my side. Uh, I got my first autograph from Earl. Earl signed your chest? You know, it was about. It was, it was really like it. it was, Listen, it was like a, it was like meeting your hero, and you just you never know what it's like when you meet your. Sometimes it could be bad, sometimes it could be it could be good, and this was just something that I've never felt in my life. Dude, thank you so much. For me. <laughs> that's my boy. <laughs> I mean, that's my twink. <laughs> Jesus, he's beating him up with hooks. Here we go again. We got the kids over here. You got the hook. Yes. Beating up children is very legal. I love how he walked that he beat you with that hook. He hit you with that hook, dude. It's like, what? I know. That thing's dangerous, man. Look at that thing. Parkour. He's doing the I'm roundabout. I'm gonna run around in a circle until you're dis oh, oh, oh. Oh, slick one. Sure, leave me with that again. <laughs> 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 yeah, Austin! You go, Austin! Oh, oh my god! Oh 
Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, whose kid is that? Whose kid is that, Mom? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Next thing you know, you're going to be bleeding. Oh Alright, we're going to cut this off before somebody gets hurt here. You won't stun your big brother. You won't give your big brother a stunner. You won't give your big brother a stunner. It's a fucking party. <laughs> the kids are partying harder than the adults. I partied the first two matches. I kind of lost my voice after the talk back, but I'm starting to regain it. Wait, wait, what, wait, what happened? She beat up Louie Moore? She got a big elbow down. Oh my god, she's gonna... Smack with the with the hook. Uh oh, watch out for the kids. Oh watch out for the little one, watch out for the little man. He's gonna end up hooking you right between your legs with that thing, is what's gonna happen. And it's gonna not feel nice at all. <laughs> you see his spin move? Yeah, he did good there. Uh-oh. Louie's beating up his little sister now. Uh-oh. This is an exclusive, very first Matt Tremont t-shirt that he doesn't even own. Are you going to give it to him? Do you think he'll fit in this? <laughs> it's tight on me, it's a shmini. <laughs> Well, we can hang it up on this wall. We can hang it on the wall, dude. It's still good. I don't have any holes in it. <laughs> and I'm cold. <laughs> Let's see how it looks. There you go. I know it's Friday night one, so it's a regular day. Or whatever. Some big red here. I was asking Red, I said, why the fuck didn't Schlack show up tonight? And I was saying to him, you know why? Because he's scared of you, dude. That's why. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. He's scared, all right. He <laughs> is scared, all right. No clue. No, still no clue on when the match is happening. I still don't even. I still don't even know. Oh, uh, when he's even going to answer the challenge? Maybe he has. Maybe he hasn't. What was the saying you said to him? Death match or not, I'm kicking your ass. <laughs> yes. Death match or not. Death match or not. All right, I fucking love you, buddy. That's right. Schlack is going to be here Friday, and you're going to be here Friday. I'm going to have to show him this. <laughs> death match or not. Death, ma <laughs> death match or not, I'm kicking your ass, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, Jay, why aren't you here, man? I know you're busy doing tats, and you know you got a lot of shit going on today with wrestling, too. But, uh, and his band, too, man. So he's got a lot going on, but... We miss you, buddy. We wish you were here today, man. Yeah, yeah. Real talk, though, if the match does happen, I just want to let you know that I actually really am looking forward to it. Well, we know you are. Yeah, because you, you said he actually did want to work with right? Yeah, yeah, he will. He definitely will. I, I'm going to be honest with you. I would not be surprised if that's, like, one of my first matches, like, when I fully advance to the main roster, if that's one of my, full, my, or one of my first matches, like, fully advance well, to the main roster. The original thing was, like, and I, I spoke with somebody else, I think it might have been Jimmy Lloyd or somebody else, they said they were going to go out back and, like, Slack was going to prank you and bust your balls and go, say to me, like, you know, yeah. and see how you react yeah, to that. Yeah, it, it never was, happened, um, but it, it would have been a, fun. Yeah, I remember. It was, it was going to be at Hardcore Kingdom 4. Like, so yeah, you remember yeah, them hard, talking about it. Yeah, because Schlack did commentary during Gigi and I's match against Cannonball and Mitch, Mitch and he mentioned me calling him out online, so... So he know he knows I called him out. We're just not sure when the match. He happened. knows that you want him deathmatch or not. Yes. <laughs> you know that, you're gonna make I, a shirt that just says deathmatch or not. I've never bled before either, so and it's highly likely that um, if this match, when or if this match does happen, I know I'm probably gonna bleed. Yeah, you're definitely gonna bleed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I cut. <laughs> Okay, I'm, my boy right here. Uh, I'm hurt. Yeah, he did good tonight, man. Kick this. Legend, AW, where you at? Yeah. 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 You never know, man. Yeah. Never George and Ella made a fan full gear in like three years. I don't know. Bye. <laughs> I don't want you now. You kicked ass and I did. You did. You take what you can, baby. Yeah, I make it with <laughs> Brought to you by H2O Wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should just like. Wait, see this? She's like, too. <laughs> did you get it? Yeah, I did. <laughs> she takes it easy on it because she loves you. <laughs> yeah, she loves you. <laughs> <laughs> Say it again. Stuck hit me a lot harder than that. Say it again. Say it again. Say I don't love you. <laughs> Say it again. Come here. Say it again. You missed it. It's what are you doing? She's beating up your dad. Oh, I know what I'm making this with. You ain't got to fix that one. Alright, so tonight, Louie was in the ring tonight. Come Get on. over here, young lady. Get over here. You were, you were in the ring tonight, too. Again, this is... This is keeping up with the Ramoses here. Come on. No, you get in there, man. Come on, we're keeping up with the Ramoses. Get over here. Come I on. Send you a picture of my get, butt hole. Oh, look, she's ready to beat you up. Get in there with your family. Yeah, see that? Now, I saw you give her a stunt, or she gave you a stunner, and then you body slammed her hard, dude. Like, oh. how old are you, young lady? Oh, does that. Ten. She's 10. She does that in the concrete floor at home every day. Good God, yeah. dude. <laughs> this is what happens when I'm stuck at work till 9 at night every night. And I let them wrestle. And then mommy comes back and gets you all home and everything's safe and sound. And then she, she hits you because you tell her. Man, I gotta go to school that, tomorrow. That she said, you said, I don't, I don't think you love me. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I got an idea. I got an idea. For the week, I'm gonna crash at TJ. He only has four miles from here. So I'm gonna go home with Yeah, TJ. you're more than welcome. It's fine. Building. I'll see you guys. You no, have, but you have you school. Have you have, you have school first. You have a computer? No, I don't have the Wi Fi. Oh, you're a dick. <laughs> Where's your water? Go out by the concession. But you did good, young lady. Hey, give me a pound. You kicked butt. Yes. Oh, Dad, I got you. <laughs> love you, TJ. I love you too. Send a hit Ari with it. No. <laughs> They're gonna call Dyfus on you. <laughs> if they would have called Dyfus only ten years ago, they would have called Dyfus. <laughs> This is this is my life. Uh, this is keh keeping up. Life. This is keeping up with the Ramos. No, is here. We just, we just have a reality TV show. 
Should. Should. It'd be great. Are we adding a, a reality TV show? I think that Red's uh -oh. over here. Like, he's just like, uh oh. He's like, what did I just walk into? <laughs> I love you guys. Thank I you. Love you TJ. Safe yeah, travels so home. You, yes, and uh, Friday, Friday and Saturday is going to be real special here. Right Very now. special, yes, big is. night. Uh, it's I'm going to get a lot all, of tears. All, the, oh, all yeah. the blood that I got left in this body is going to be spilled on that day. I don't give a shit what I, I know you will. Like, uh, yeah. um, I, got, I got no shit. I don't feel about what's happening to me on Friday. I'm not gonna people oh, don't I'm realize that this is, this is this is why I'm still breathing. He's so it is what it is. You got two big weekends. You got this. You got NGI. This, this, this comes first. You better watch my boy at NGI. Oh, I'm gonna watch him. I'm gonna. That's a Sunday show at one. I just know. It's I no, it's Saturday. Oh, Saturday at one. No this way comes. Out. This comes first. So we're gonna party afterwards. The last extravaganza Friday and Halloween. For Grant. Listen. Yes. I didn't go to Japan so I could be here for my kids on Halloween. And the chips fell as they may, and the extravaganza is booked, and uh, yep. I am honored and privileged to be here on Halloween, and there's nothing more than that. I would have missed anything and everything to be here on that day, so... Um, You'd uh, walk I'm, here if you had I'd to, I'd walk man. here if I have to, and, and I'd, I'd put both of these kids on my back if I had to, so it's going to be fun, and I know you'll be here, and I love you, and I, I thank you for too, everything man. that thank you do, you, and it's going to be a great time, and again, if it wasn't... If it wasn't for this family that I got here, I, I wouldn't do the shit that I did. If it wasn't for this wrestling, there'd be no family yeah, that's, that, that's here. That's true. That's how you guys met. True. That's yeah, that's yeah. look at that. In Boonton, New Jersey. Yeah, yeah. Where's that? Professional wrestling basically is the butterfly effect of you and yeah, yeah, your sister. Yeah, yeah. There it is. 100%. You're the reason why you're here. Well, I'm, 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 I'm in health class now, so I guess I know how it works. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Grant. Hey, Ari. Grant. I'm talking to you. October 30, 30th and October 31st is for you. We're gonna party, we're gonna get violent, we're gonna get crazy. This one's for you, Grant. I love you. Love you, kid. Let's Come dance. Come here, give me a hug. I love you, buddy. I love you, baby. I love you all. Give me a hug, come on, little one. Come on, I love you, sweetie. You guys all be safe. Keeping up with the Ramoses. Tune in next week. Fuck yeah. Oh, God. It's like a, it's like a, like a It's a weekly thing now. This is a reality show, baby. Chuck, it's uh, it's keeping up with the Ramos. Is you tuning in every weekend? On MTV, right? Yeah, MTV, baby. I won't put the light in your face. Damn, I smell like a good guy. Are you are you smoking? Are you guys smoking? Oh my god! That's all I smell. She's like, why do you now I smell? In the case. <laughs> what is the problem, Mama? Bryce, you want to hear? The mamas. I put the thing down. So you can smile to everybody. You see the light? Is that bothering you? It's light. Oh, hi! It's bright light. It's bright light. She's like, why are you recording me? She is me. Holy crap. <laughs> oh! I think it was clear. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> oh, I got a smile. It's fine. Look at your little tight little basket thing you got. I don't believe just one. I don't think she likes the light. She's like, get the light off. Hi, ah, hello. What are you doing, Sarah? How are you doing, beautiful? What you doing? <laughs> they don't notice you. You're just as cute as you. Um, um, Y'all um, been giving me babies. Oh, the keys, yes. Drew knows the keys. He's got the kid. He knows. Hello. Yeah. Ah, she's like, hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> oh, I see the whimper. There we go. That's scary. <laughs> it's okay. Mommy likes me. That means I'm crazy. It's like I'm still trying to learn how to use my hands. And my arms and my but feet. You don't remember his voice when you were in mommy's belly? Oh. No, she remembers Uncle Chuck's probably. Probably. <laughs> How about that? Nadine. Nadine. Put your finger on
Austin doesn't want to leave. He's telling his mom and dad no. Yes, Austin, yes. It's time to go home. Everybody's going home, bud. He's like, I don't care, Mom, Dad. I'm just going to cruise. Here I go. He's like, I'm out. Bye. Yep. Sullivan, are you licking the blood off the floor? Ew, Sullivan, don't lick the blood off the floor. Ew. <laughs> He's licking up Daddy's blood off the floor over there, dude. <laughs> Looking up Matt's blood on the floor over here. Ooh, you looking blood on the floor? Oh. Drew, Drew, what are you doing, Drew? You, you, you putting her to sleep with the Chuck boys? Yeah, I'm a, we had a theory and it kind of panned out. We, I didn't expect that. No, but, uh, she responded to Uncle Chuck's voice. What's Uncle Chuck's voice sound like? What do you mean? You got a pop? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. What you doing, cutie? You like the light, huh? Oh, you got a light? I mean, let me see that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who's Uncle Chuck though? Oh, oh, oh! You hear that? It was so cute. Oh, she did. Oh, oh! You did a nice little. Oh, oh! Kind of good time there. Wait, I'm confused. Who's Uncle Chuck? Who's Uncle Chuck? Is is he a wrestler? No, if that's what you want to call. <laughs> <laughs> oh, zing! She liked that one. You've been zapped. You said it. I want no affiliation. Look here, I, I summons the Leviathan. <laughs> Shithead, get your ass out of here! Put her by your knees. It's gonna come blasting curly. <laughs> yeah, Sully, lick that blood up, buddy. You got this. Clean it up. Leave it outside, I'll get fined. <laughs> Should make the students bring it in. It was once a, it was once a pleasure and a beautiful thing, and now it's just it's it's paid, it's it's paid its dues. <laughs> Time to get thrown the fuck out. The dog, by the way, the dog peed on it. <laughs> All right, everybody, I'm here with the bulldozer. After his night of retirement here, what is it? What's the night anyway? Was this H2O or was it an IWTV event? Uh, it was uh, a, a, a bulldozer presented event. Okay, so uh, it's the bulldozer presents. Much retirement party. And it was an awesome party, it man. Was, it was fun. Yeah, I had a blast, man. You know what my favorite part was? Besides, I mean, you and Effie in there, and then we saw uh, Dylan, Austin, and uh, Marcus in there. Uh, but I really enjoyed the the, the main event there. It kind of reminded me of like a old brawling event from like when I was a kid, like on Monday Night Raw, where they just pick fifteen big names in the bags and go out there and just beat the shit out of each other. <laughs> and it was awesome, man. It worked out great. You guys beat the shit out of each other. I mean, I'm sorry you lost that Billy Avery, unfortunately. <laughs> he, he, he was the smart man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was the one that jumped on last. You know, pile on the man. <laughs> I got the, the concept to do that match. CZW did in the firehouse in Delaware years ago. It was like Zandig, Beater, Lobo, Gage. All, like there was like eight or nine guys in one match. I think it was stretched. It might have been stretched in Smyrna when they stretched Zandig in the middle of the ring. So I'm like, oh, we'll just. And I wanted to work with everybody that here at least one more time and do something with them in the ring. So I'm like, ah, oh, we'll just do a huge death match scramble. Uh, AK old school like bunkhouse brawl, and it uh, it went a lot <laughs> better than I thought it was, because uh, when you got that many people in the ring at one time, or putting a match together with that many people, uh, people it can get lost in translation very easily. Uh, but it came together, and it was uh, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, I caught a little bit in the back. I, I tried to like go in the back. You know, it's a very small locker room, but I, I caught a little bit earlier. Like, hey, what's going on, everybody? You know, all right, this is the backstage stuff. We're gonna, What's going on? Are we doing this? And we saw Chanda in there singing for like 20 something minutes. <laughs> it was like, wait, you went like 15 minutes over there, Chanda, didn't you? <laughs> I gave him no direction. 
I didn't even tell him when I announced it that he was doing it. And then he saw the graphic. He's like, I'm doing a concert? I'm like, yeah. yeah. I'm like, just do whatever you want. You just got to kill time. Do an intermission live on the feed. So hopefully those that watched the... Uh, in, enjoyed the shenanigans. Oh, it was a it was a real treat. You know, <laughs> when we were chatting before with Chando, uh, and he was saying that, you know, he's like, you know what, we should bring uh, the staple gun out there. Maybe some some staple gun, some dollars. I mean, I was just like, oh yeah. I was like, where's the staple gun? I asked little Louie. Nobody knew because I was like, I would have literally, as I was filming, I would have went up and just staple gunned his foot real quick. <laughs> With a dollar, but like there was nothing available. But uh, the kids should know all the simple guns. Yeah, are in the blue, like where the blue toolbox underneath the okay. Ring. What the fuck, man? Like it would have been great for him. He could have really got over even more. I was like, I got a staple gun his foot, or, or even a student. Somebody should not me, but somebody else should have did it. Staple gun his foot while he's doing it, just like snap real quick and then yeah. go back to playing again. But nobody <laughs> did it, so I don't know. That was a bummer, Chanda. You suck, but <laughs> you don't suck. Though. I love you, Chanda. But uh, but yeah, Matt. Like uh, this is your uh, farewell tour, baby. This was match number three and two. I got one left. <laughs> one more, the big one. What is the grand finale here? We we already heard you say it here. You know, you got Ricky Shane Page. You know, you guys battled a lot in the past, though, in CZW. Quite a few matches. How many matches do you know? Of? We did the, we did the TOD finals in sixteen. That was our best and most memorable one. That's one of my top five favorite matches of all time. We had a match in Ohio. Uh, we had another singles in Asbury Park when, when Ricky was CZW champ. And I think the first time we ever worked was a one-on-one, -on -one, like a very light hardcore match at Beyond Wrestling, I would say in 2014 or 2015. So, uh, probably, yeah, probably about four times. That, that's what, off the top of my head of almost a thousand matches that I've had. Uh, that's crazy to hear that when you say thousand matches like it's, it's it's pretty wild man i mean when, when, when did your when your your age 31 now 32 31, 31 yes when did your career start i start i started training when i was 15 16 and i debuted when i was 17 17 and what company did you de debut with when you were 17 my first match was a show i ran it was my backyard fed that <laughs> I, and i ran a pro show it was easy w extreme zone wrestling because uh, I was just a big CZW fan, so I was like, we were like the sister promotion of Combat Zone. Is there any video footage of this I stuff? still have, so I lost a lot, oh. but I still, I have one VHS that has three matches that I did three weeks in a row in the summer of 05, me and my brother. Uh, we did a light tubes match, uh, another light tubes match, and the last match was like a week after Chris Cash passed, so we did a ladder match. And all these matches were called the Berlin Backyard Brawls. Uh, because all three were behind my sister's garage uh, yes. in her house in Berlin, uh, out, out, out back the, the, the garage. Um, and then uh, yeah, those were like my first early backyard matches in like 05. And then uh, me and Xavier Cross did a bunch of backyard too. And they were really good. We had the cops called all, on us a couple times. <laughs> and uh, that footage, I... I, I don't know what happened to. Do you have anything that's transferred digitally by any chance? I may. Uh, and if not, if you have some of the original stuff, I can yeah. get it transferred if you let me. I would love to like add this to this little conversation here. Just a couple That'd be of times. Yeah, if I, I, I'm pretty sure I still have the VHS tape. Oh, so that's awesome. You can work your magic with it. That'd be fine. I've always wanted to kind of release it and put yeah, it out. Yeah, please That'd do. Be uh, it was like at least Chondo, I've been filming. There's 13 matches since I announced my retirement. We've been filming them all. So we got a lot of good behind the scenes stuff and following me out and filming the matches with, with our camera. Uh, so we're, we're going to put something out, some kind of little documentary. Well, you know, I got you too with all this stuff. I, so I saw stuff. that, yeah. there was It was darker lighting in one of the, the shots. And I, obviously, it's the same footage, but, you know, I'm going to send it your way too as well. Sit down, buddy. Good boy. Sully. <laughs> He's like, okay. <laughs> Sorry, anyway. <laughs> um, shit, I'm like lost in thought, lost in translation. <laughs> um, so uh, the stipulations that are coming up here for the the Danny Havoc, the last extravaganza. What are the stipulations here with you and Ricky Shane Page? I was back and forth on it when I first. I, f I think it was a Hustlemania. I think I said barbed wire ropes and light tubes and stuff. 
people, yeah, I kind of remember that. I think people thought I said no rope barbed wire, and then I, you know, th discussed with Ricky, and then uh, and then tonight I I said no rope barbed wire emphatically in the tube. So yeah, it'll be no rope barbed wire and light tubes and uh, a brand new bed of nails that okay. they made for us and and. Uh, is a possibility of a scaffold being built as well inside? We might throw the, was the the widow's walk we use for mm -hmm. the the hardcore kingdom. We might use that, or I might just get a scaffold, just to have. I think we need one anyway. So. Oh, without a doubt. Um, yeah, it's the it's the uh, end all be all death match. We're we're gonna use everything that we uh, that ain't nailed down and that's <laughs> left over from the <laughs> tournament. So what are the plans for the bulldozer Matt Tremont after he retires? Well, <laughs> well now it's just more more time, energy, and, and focus in the company and the school because um, it, it, it's really paid off since we came back. The you know, pandemic's still going on, but we were one of the first places to open and run shows and open the school. And you know, from June to now, like, we've grown so much, and I've had – you know, a lot of time to put into things. So I'm like, all right, if we grew so much in just this short period of time, uh, I can only imagine now once I don't have to worry about bookings and traveling or any other promotions and just solely focus on us now. Uh, who knows where we'll, where we'll be in the next six months because we've, we've grown dramatically. It's really starting to, I guess, you know, all that hard work pay off after all these years. So I'm... Uh, yeah, just more time for H two O. The school, the school's growing. Uh, we another new, we had two more new students start this week. that tried out, so we're well over forty now. I can't even keep track of the number, the names of all the all the people that are here. Just the the influx of people that are here during the week. We're gonna open the school for a fourth day coming up because we ha we just have to, um, and then. Uh, at the, the other thing look, looking forward to is, uh, I guess, just having a, a regular real life again. And trying to, <laughs> I keep uh, thinking about, like, I got to find a hobby because I'm going to get bored. And that's what the wife worries, worries about. Oh, come on. You got social media to, oh, you know, to, to, to oh, post about the H2O events and your students. Oh, yeah. You know, you it takes up, it, people don't realize how much time it takes up. It really takes up. You Next thing you know, you're on there 8 in the morning and it's like 8 o'clock at night. Like, I've been on there for 12 hours. Like, yeah. holy shit, where'd the time go? It's Especially going in, into this show today because this was a last minute added show. And then next week's double header. Um, yeah, I've been on that computer <laughs> for hours, but I, I don't buy I don't look at it as work because I'm just, I'm just, you know, promoting wrestling. That's what I enjoy. So I never look at it as work. Uh, then the, the workload's getting a lot more, which you know, is good. And I wanted that to happen. Eventually I'm going to have to get a, I don't know, like a secretary or something. Cause it's just, <laughs> it's, it's, it's been, it's been very busy on top of, you know, the upkeep of the building, keeping the place clean, and I feel like I'm cleaning up every day. That's why, like, after a show, I'm like, I just cleaned this motherfucker, and I got to do it again. The, the kids will clean it, but uh, I got, like, OCD or something, and I'll just, uh, it's it, if it's not immaculate, I I, I know, you're I a perfectionist, and I, I respect that. That's good. You want it as clean as possible. You want it to yeah. be organized, and without organization, there is no prosper of that. You need to be organized when you want 100%. to prosper in your life. I, I've, always, I've always been like that, even with, like, my DVD shelf, I gotta have oh, a certain way. Matt, see, I'm the same way. It's an OCD thing, but like, yeah. no, that's a good thing, though. Uh, it's like an OC. It's obsessive compulsive comp compulsive disorder, but yeah. like, but it's a normal come thing here, most buddy. people go through. Uh, <laughs> Sully, <laughs> come here. It's gonna drop a nice poop. But no, that is a really good thing, and I think it, honestly, it's a a nice thing that you're doing retiring at such a young age. I mean, like you said to me before, but if it was like a really big match, you would come back, but you're not going to go back to doing anything routine ever, ever again. You no. need to focus on your company, H2O, as it has really become, honestly, it's probably the top three indie companies in the world right now, honestly. I mean, at least in the United States, in my eyes, like, I, I know it is. I mean, maybe two, I don't know. I mean, It's pretty cool to hear that. Uh, I definitely, uh, I am not one to blow, uh, toot my own horn or anything like that, but uh, I see it, you know. Just the amount of shows that we run and can you know consistently 
you know, put a good, good, uh, you know, draw in the building and a good amount of people and seeing, uh, you know, IWTV. I'll, they just got, they, you know, keep doing what you're doing. That's and honestly, that's me. that's what it is. I mean, with IWTV is the reason why. Like, I mean. You were doing this before IWTV really took off or did anything, but now it's like that was it. I already had belief in you, and many people did, and a lot yeah. of fans. And once that came around, I was like, no, this is what they needed. And now you guys have such a good, good fan base and just like a fucking a tool to like get it out there to people. And it's going to continue to grow, and it's, it's, it, it's going to start out slow. It's starting out slow, I mean, but it's still like each year, I mean, even it's like once a year you get a thousand new fans, a thousand new fans, and then when you broadcast live, next thing you know you're charging, you know, the monthly fee and whatever. It's it, it adds up and you can keep the company alive. And companies didn't have this like twenty years ago. I mean, remember with ECW, like they had to give their Paul Heyman had to give his company up to Vince See, McMahon because he didn't have a choice. Like he yeah. he gave it up because he didn't have a way. And it's like Vince offered him enough money and he sold it. And I, you can't blame him for the millions he, he sold it out to, but like. <laughs> But nowadays, you guys get to have that independency and like get to have a, a free mind and, and keep your own uh, your creativity on your own and don't have anybody telling you what to do and you get to do what you want to do. And I think you're doing the right thing here. And after watching your three of your young students tonight, like I just said, Austin Luke, Marcus Mathers, and Dylan McKay in there, I just like I really see a lot in them. Like they're really good. Like there's always room for improvement, but like they are good. Like they're friends, they're students together, and you can see how well they work together. They've been, they've been killing it. Um, it's just some sort of progression each year, and this was the year to, you know, get us over the hump, I think, as far as, like, the Internet crowd and stuff like that. And it's just, uh, you know, when, when you got uh, – I was at the Collective, and there's a uh, uh, Orange Cassidy. Talked to him for a minute. Yeah, he I remember you like, guys wrestled each other, too. He was like, hey, I watched uh, – well, he wa the Lucky and Dash. He wanted to watch Lucky and Dasher's match from WrestleMania, and then he's like, "I wound up watching the whole thing." So, and he was like, "I enjoyed the show." So, just you know, hear him say he watched WrestleMania, enjoyed it. It was pretty cool. Um, did you get a chance to chat uh, to chat with Moxley again? I did not, but I made sure the kids got to meet him and see him. So they ah, that's they, awesome. They got to meet him, shake his hand, and all that all that good stuff. Um, I did recently. Uh, share a couple emails with him and you know he just he knows what we're doing next week and because him and him and grant uh danny have it we're good friends yes right? yes yeah. uh so he designed a lot of uh, uh well he designed moxley's actually i believe first outfit for aw or one of the companies he I think so yeah. yeah he did yeah they're um, pretty tight man yeah they, they always spoke well of each other and he's aware of what we're doing you know appreciates it and yeah, next next week's big. <laughs> it's that's our biggest events ever, 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 ever. So we got to uh, go big or go home. That's why we're running two nights. I was originally yeah, you can't get it done in one night. There's yeah, no way. I, the original plan was just to do eight, you know, eight man tournament one night. Um, you know, and then you know everything else that's going on. I'm like, I think this is the right the right show to retire on. And then I'm like, there's just too many people that want to be a part of it so i'm like yeah let's go big or go home and and do a double header weekend go live and it's uh yeah we're, we're putting our best foot forward and yeah, we'll show the world what h2o is all about next weekend and you know it's good it's, it'll be sink or swim and I, I, but I, I think we'll swim and, and do pretty good um, i think if grant was here today he would uh honestly he, like you said he would laugh and say because he he doesn't want all that attention and stuff, but I mean, he he would be really proud of this. This is this is going to be a beautiful weekend coming up, and uh, I'm sorry not to get emotional too. Like he he was such a good dude. I he one was. of the he was one of the first people I really met and really chatted with in CZW when he was younger. He had a little afro. We first started. We first started. He didn't have that thing, but like he was such a good guy. He was always friendly to me. He was just a kid. And he was just like oh, such a nice person, and just he was so talented. Like. And like I said before, when he came back, when you guys had the H2O show here, was it, uh, what was it? I forget what it was. Was it the benefit show for, for Graver? Or what when, was it? When, when he wrestled? When he came back. I yeah, know. it was G. Graver's benefit show. And he show. came in there and he looked so goddamn good, dude. And I think I even joked around your back. I was like, is he coming back? And I was like, oh, if he comes back for Japan money or something. And then he went and wrestled in <laughs> Japan. I was like, or was it Anthony before? I don't and remember. Him coming back on that show was all him, too, because he's like, 
he knew we were doing a benefit show for Raver, and it was just all about ra raising as much money as possible. And he's like, I think I'll wrestle, and uh, it'll help the draw, and we'll make more money, and it definitely did, and you know, gave Raver a good amount of money at the end of the night, but you know, he came back to, again, do something for somebody else. Uh, probably the most unselfish person I've ever met in my life. He was, he was more happy when other people were happy than himself. Uh, and then I just, uh, at least for, and then for me, everything I always did, uh, biggest one, I think the first time he said he was like, oh, you know, proud of you, proud of you, and I really took it in and appreciated it, was when I had my store, and because it was just something random I always wanted to do. And uh, early, early, in the early, probably the first year, he walk in and just took a look around and we're just bullshit and he's like, proud of you. And that that, that meant the world. So just the, to get that from him. So that's why we just keep doing what we're doing now. I I, I would think about I'm like, all right, let's do all this to, to make him proud, even he, whether he's here or not. So we will can uh, continue to just keep making him proud and keep his name alive and now we're doing the foundation and everything. So. Did you know that um, uh, when Come here. Come here. when I Grant was wrestling with, before G Ray were wrestled? I don't know if G ever told you this. Like, I was a fan like them, and I would see them like just standing out there to get shirts or hanging out and like talking to people. And uh, Graver would come up and give Danny Havoc figures that he made of him. I heard definitely heard. Yeah, about this. I was actually witnessing. I witnessed this like firsthand. Mm -hmm. It was just like, I mean, I was I didn't vlog like this was a long time ago, but I was just like. Holy crap! That was awesome because <laughs> when I well, it didn't hit me then, but I was like, oh, I was like, oh my god, you used to make figures for him, and then he cranked over. He's like, thank you, you were there too. I was like, yeah. I was like, right, this kid used to make figures. You look, he's wrestling now. I was like, I was like, he even reminds me of you in the ring. It's like it's crazy. It's like they are so similar to each other. So, is Graver going to be coming back anytime soon? I know he he's, he had a hard time with his injury. I mean, he wants to go back to tattoo him, but even I that's hope, hard I for hope him. So, uh, I know he wants to. It's a tough injury to come well, back We from. saw a promotional video where it was like a hint that he might we be coming did. back. Uh, I think it's him at the end. Yeah, it looked like it. <laughs> See, I don't even know, but like, because I haven't talked to him. So, like, I explain it. This ain't going to get posted beforehand, but like, so there's a possibility he could end up showing up at this. I think, uh, you know, if, if he comes back, he's come back on his terms and do what he wants to do, do it his way. Uh, because he's done, you know, he did a lot, and he don't need to do all that crazy, crazy stuff. Um, so I think, uh, I think people would be pleasantly surprised. <laughs> and the, uh, what's in the tail for the, the future? But it, it'll, it'll be good to. So you're saying he's in good health, and there's a possibility he's coming back. That 100. percent Okay, 100%. that's good to hear. That yeah. that's what I like to hear. Yeah. Well, Matt, I talked long enough, and I know, I, I believe your wifey is pulled up in the back, and they're waiting for me to stop talking before they walk up. <laughs> you And I love you, Matt. Thanks, dude. Cheers, well, and too. thank you thank for tonight, you. man. Uh, it was fun. Yeah, it was Different really fun. fun, dude. It was definitely fun. It was cool to have Effie here, too, man. <laughs> and he wants to work your students, as your wifey was saying, so I, I can't wait to see that, too. Super nice guy. Uh, say bye, Sullivan. Say bye, buddy. What? But uh, your closing words, what, what do you got to say, Matt? The world's all watching. <laughs> uh... Uh, what was that fucking commercial? The <laughs> WWF. Uh, my WrestleMania Five. Wrestle. I had that. I had that VHS tape. Wait, wait, Come on, everyone's wait, watching, Matt. Come on. The World Wrestling Federation. What the world? Oh wait, what was the impressive? What was the one uh, <laughs> referee you could do the or the ring announcer? Uh, Howard Fingle. Can we do Howard uh, of Fingle? Course. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the 1995 Royal. Rumble match. <laughs> uh, the, the next time you see Sean, his Kevin Sullivan, like thick Boston accent Kevin Sullivan, little Sean Henderson is fucking spot on to the point where I had him do it for four hours on the way home from Indiana so we could stay awake <laughs> and keep me entertained. It's great. So do that next time we see oh Sean. Oh, my God. I got to get you guys with it. <laughs> wait, so can good. you do the ring announcer for Gold again? But can you say, um, <laughs> the next time you'll see me will be at the Daily Ring Show? Can you do that? Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, the next time you will see the bulldozer is at the last extravaganza weekend on October 30th when he says goodbye. <laughs>
I love you, Mark. <laughs> 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 Come here, buddy. I love you. I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. It's okay. I'm only kidding. Hairless scrotum. Two of hearts. I need you. I need you. <laughs> Are you okay? Are you okay? Where'd you go, buddy? Like a whole chair over? Jesus. Ow. God damn it, that hurt. Everybody says your head is small. You wear this. You make your head bigger. No, where are you going? You make your head bigger. Here, you make your head bigger. Here, I got you this. This is your face mask for Halloween. You make your head bigger. You make your head bigger. Just make your head bigger already. God damn it. Make your head bigger. Make your head bigger. Where are you going? Make your head bigger. Make your head bigger. <laughs> Hey, make your head bigger. Make your head bigger. <laughs> Come here, make your head bigger. Look, it's your friend. Here, you wear this. Okay, bye. Stop fighting or I'll throw this spoon at you. Give me my, give me my spoon, give me my, give me my, give me my spoon back. Give me my spoon back. That's my spoon. I bless you. Like the kids are doing on their nose. Hey, what? 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 Are you talking to me? What? You gotta wear this spoon on your nose. You gotta wear this spoon on your nose. A 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 spoon on your nose.
We gotta wear this spoon on your nose, the 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 spoon on your nose. Pet the kitty, pet the kitty. Here, let's go. Here, let's go. Come here, I wanna love you. Don't you, don't, don't you fight me. You need a bath. Oh, okay, it's cool. Okay, cool. You want you want to wear this spoon on your nose, this spoon on your nose, your balls on my face, your balls on my face, this balls on my face, this balls on my balls, 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 balls. What? Oh, God, this thing needs to be cut off, dude. They gotta go, bro. Oh, oh, what are you doing up there? Mm, am I doing the robot? Like, yeah, they're doing the robot. Ah, quit bite me as I do the robot. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Ow, you little shit. You eating my goddamn arm, you little mother ever. Here, you go up here. Go. Ah, ah, fuck. It's close to my body. lip. God damn it. Your fucking sergeant screwed up. That was literally his claw wet in my lip. <laughs> Get your balls out of my fucking face. Get your balls out of my face, man. Alright, we gotta cut this off. Come here, buddy. Come on. Come here. Hey. Come here, bud. Here. Hey, you gotta get down. There you go. Good boy. You hurt my lip. You hurt my lip, Sergeant Squotum. You just know Squotum. Your balls gotta get snipped, buddy. But you're 500 in line to get fixed because of COVID. <sighs> well, give me that spoon. I need to mix my whiskey. This is my spoon. I mix my whiskey with this spoon in your meal. Eat the spaghetti. Here, eat the spaghetti. I gotta go eat the spaghetti. You get yourself some more spaghetti. It's good. You get a good piece. Mmm, -hmm, yummy. Come on, you got this. You get a nice little chunk. And get the fork out of there, too. Get the fork out of there. Good thing there's no salt in this one. Wait, we gotta put this back. Get a nice fork. Stupid fork. You want some of this? Yeah. Put on the spoon. Here. You put on the spoon. Wait, no, it's mine. Here, you eat. Here. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Spaghetti. Spaghetti cat. Yeah. Get on his head. It's stuck on your back. Ah. Like when you throw spaghetti at a wall. <laughs> like, literally, will stick to his body because he's hairless. <laughs> what do you think it would? Why? Well, it's on your head, huh? Alright, we had this on too long. I gotta go. Bye, I'm gonna mix my whiskey with this. Good. I'm supporting Benjamin Franklin in Arizona. Woo! Squirt him spoon. Yeah, stir it up there. Start and squirt him. Alright, I'm not gonna speak. Except for how I end it. Stop judging, start loving, accept that as it is. be yourself. Meowch. The show was awesome tonight. Retirement party, Matt Tremont. Happy, bur happy, happy birthday. <laughs> happy retirement party, Matt. I love you, bud. See you this weekend at Danny Havoc's uh, last extravaganza there. Deathmatch extravaganza. I'm hammered.